Hello there, my name is Sierra Green and I'm a project archivist here at the Thomas and Catherine Detry Library and Archives of the Senator John Hines History Center here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm here with you today to share some professional tips on how to begin properly caring for and preserving your family treasures. Nearly all of us have treasured family heirlooms in our possession, whether they be old family photographs, home movies, scrapbooks, or diaries. All of these materials are pieces of our family's mosaic, built piece by piece, year after year. Each of these family treasures capture glimpses into who we are and those who came before us. So often, however, these family treasures are haphazardly stored in areas of our home that cause them to deteriorate at an alarming rate. As professionals dedicated to preserving and providing access to those materials that document Western Pennsylvania history, we here at the Detroit Library and Archives are uniquely equipped with the knowledge to help you begin preserving and caring for your family treasures. Drawing upon the knowledge that we utilize to care for the History Center's archival collections, here are some easy to implement step-by-step -step measures you can take to care for your family treasures. We'll begin with what we call one of the pillars of preservation. These are keystone measures you can take that will do much to extend the life of all of the materials in your family collection. The first pillar is a proper storage environment. Perhaps the most basic but most important preservation measure you can take for your family treasures is to store them in a stable environment. All too often, our family collections have found homes in the nook of an attic or the corner of a basement or garage. I myself am guilty of this. As you can see, pieces of my own family collection were once stored in a family member's basement near a furnace. These locations are among the worst places to store your family collection. Why is that? Because of the extreme fluctuation of temperatures. With the heat and humidity of our western Pennsylvania summers and the cold of our winters, the temperatures in our attics and garages rise and fall often. Over time, these temperature fluctuations damage the materials in our family collection. Consider for a moment the example of a bridge of which there are so many here in Pittsburgh. If you take a close look at the bridge's construction, you'll notice that there are interlocking teeth called expansion joints. This joint allows for the bridge to expand and contract as the seasons change and the temperatures rise and fall, while also securing its structure. In a similar, though less visible way, the materials in your family collection expand and contra contract when stored in an unstable environment. Over time, this expansion and contraction takes its toll on your family collection, causing them to become brittle and to deteriorate more quickly. According to the Library of Congress, by simply moving your family collection from an attic to a room with a more stable temperature, you will extend the life of your family treasures by more than three and a half times. So if not in an attic or a basement or garage, where should you store your family treasures? A viable alternative is a room or a closet towards the center of your home. Such an area usually remains at a fairly constant temperature throughout the year. And while you're moving your family treasures, be sure to keep them off the ground and away from any exposed water pipes. This will safeguard them from any flood or water damage that may happen. Now that we've addressed one of the overarching preservation measures you can take to safeguard all the materials in your family collection, let's take a look at some more specific ways you can care for one particular type of material in everybody's family collection, photographs. In addition to benefiting from a proper storage environment, photographs are best preserved through careful handling and storage. Because photographs are comprised of various layers and are formed through a chemical process, they are particularly fragile and prone to damage. The best way to preserve your photographs is to store them individually in archival quality enclosures, such as folders, envelopes, or plastic sleeves. Because photographic prints have a tendency to adhere to one another over time, storing them individually will prevent them from damaging one another. If you choose to store your photographs in paper enclosures, make sure they are acid-free and have passed the photographic activity test, known as the PAT. Any materials that have passed the PAT will not react chemically with photographs. In the case of paper enclosures, you can either store each photo individually in its own folder, 
Or you could also interleave photographs with acid-free paper and then store these photographs collectively in folders or envelopes. Another alternative is to store your photographs in mylar sleeves. These enclosures are best for those photographs you wish to view often. Because they are translucent, mylar sleeves allow you to view and handle the photograph without coming into direct contact with the image. Expect this process of preserving your family treasures to be a uniquely emotional and rewarding journey. Convening with your own personal history has a way of moving you to reflect on your family's past through the lens of those who have come before you. It is essential that this time be taken to preserve your family treasures in a way that perpetuates their meaning for generations to come.